Hello, today's read is for Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, the cards have been shuffled. They've been prayed over. Let's begin. Hmm. All right, Sagis, like, comment, and I appreciate the support. Share the videos. And return on negative energy, deities, spoken words, written words about Truth Goddess Tarot. 777 and her Sagittarius's as well as her supporters protect them as they support me. Thank you. Now, Sagis, there's been a lot of energy that's talking about someone that's in despair, right? This person is in despair. You have somebody that's all worked up. They're pretty nervous. They, they, they're filled with a lot of anxiety because this person assumed they would have this wonderful gift. They possibly lost the gift, the gift that would be you. This person is trapped this person knows that you being the gift, you're no longer trapped or consumed with them. They were someone that was trapped and consumed with the false individual. This person was a thief that, that they were trapped to. Hmm, with the Ten of Swords. This person stabbed this person in the back. Now, it looks like to me, this all started from the overall energy is childhood trauma. So someone is suffering with their own inner ghost, wounds, things that they've not healed from. And it has to do with when they were a youngster. All right? That's a fact. There's a knocking. So this somebody is disturbed based on what occurred to them as a child. Um... Yeah. Yeah, this person learned of a situation and they're learning about you investing, you you growing, you building. This is causing this person a lot of stress. It started off with this person running away from their childhood issues. This person is running away from things that they've never healed from. Sagittarius, I see that this person ran into a connection, a marriage, something that they have never learned a lesson from. But this lesson was a wish that they've always wanted. They wanted to be married. This person ran into a situation in which now they're all fucked up over you. About it. So it seems like this person, when they when they made this choice to continue to or to marry someone, to to build a union with someone, to connect to someone, they ran away with this person. I mean, they they ran for the hills. They said this person was the one, and they and they did it. I feel like this person hid a lot of their trauma through other people, and this person did that by running away from problems, running into the arms of anyone that would be there or listen or support them. This person was, you know, kumbaya, the 400 as I say this. But what happened is when they ran into this person, this was a person that they, they just, with the Eight of Cups, they left behind their past and looked toward their future. They felt like a lot of their cups would be filled. So they trusted the situation that they ran into. They they wanted this situation. And being indecisive was something that they were fucked up over. They're fucked up over this because they, they made a choice in which they believed that would carry them and put them in a pit position in which they would, be ha would have balance and peace, happiness and harmony. So they ran away, they got married, 
but there was a lesson to be learned in this situation for this person. They were married to somebody that was very disturbing. They connected to someone that was a dark, low vibrational deity. Like they're, they're glued to one another. This person that they connected to is a real demon. So they're connected to a demon. Yeah, that's what they're connected to. But the thing is, when they ran off with this demon, they helped this demon. They helped the devil. They helped a low vibrational entity. They came to the aid for this person. They trusted this person. They did. They, they believed that this person needed their help. So they helped this person in order for this person to possibly have a union. This may have been a person that they married out of, out of the state, out of the country. So it's like this person kind of got conned. They took the aid of helping someone that was really homeless. This person was homeless that they married. They married a homeless person. They married somebody, let's just say for instance, that this person lived on the border of America and let's just say Canada, for instance. All right? So this person would need some sort of clearance to be a full-blooded American citizen. So what this person did through their own hurt and trauma was a, a latch on to, to someone that was broken such as themselves. Why is it that you love me? Well, this may have been the question that they asked this person when they came to the aid for this, this disturbing entity. They came to the aid. For the, they, they were an aid to this individual. So they moved away from a connection with you and they came to the rescue and they aided someone else and they married this person. Yeah, they got married. Now they may be divorced from this person, but this is a person that needed their help and basically this person was homeless. This person didn't have a home. This person didn't have a, a permanent residence. So they had a choice. Should they go back to possibly someone? This could have been a situation, Spirit just said, this person may have already been married to this person at one point in time and they return back to an ex-marriage, an ex-lover, an ex-spouse. They return back to somebody in which they never learned their initial lesson about this person because, again, this was a person that they wished for, they hoped for. They wanted to reconnect with this past lover, this ex-wife, this ex-husband. They wanted to heal and mend fences with this connection that was broken initially. So they returned back to this person and walked away from you and they took the aid of helping this individual. That's what they did because they definitely married this person at one point in time. And they still may be or may not be married to this person. So they, it's like this person was someone that had already been divorced, separated, not in a connection with this individual anymore. This person in the roles could be reversed. The person that you knew was homeless. They had no stable foundation. So someone came to their aid and it could have been you or someone else that came to the aid of this person. And this person was really just a low vibrational demon. So if you are a chosen one, you may have opened your heart and your home to this individual. This person was always somebody that used dark magic to keep you connected to them. Again, you may have went to this person and you needed assistance, Saggies. Either way, this person or you was indecisive, but I feel like it was this person that married someone that now they're receiving judgment because they never learned their lesson. They had already had a connection with this person. They had already been married to this individual once before. 
And if they weren't, they married this person for a sense of convenience to remove or so they thought to help them heal their broken heart when it came to their childhood traumas. So this person was very serious about this connection that they moved away from in the past. It's like with the Eight of Cups, you can move away, leave a situation and return back to it. So it's like this person kind of double backed. They, they, they left the situation once before and then they returned back to it. It was always a, a very dark connection between them and this person, their ex-wife, their ex-husband. It was always toxic and dark and devious. So they still realized that once they walked away, they may have told you, okay, I'm divorced from this individual, this person, you know, reaches out to me so often, or, you know, maybe they sneak around and reach out to this person. And every time that person calls them, they come to this person's aid and they help them out. They're doing all of this behind your back. This is what they were doing. So they possibly proposed to this person for marriage to help this person out. Again, this could be someone that was an illegal immigrant, 1122, as I say this. Somebody that they don't have to be so far outside of America where, again, I'm using Canada as an example, 1133. So this person may be someone that's not far outside of America, but they need a green card to enter this country to be a permanent resident, 1144. All these angel numbers are confirming what I'm saying. So this person married someone that was someone that they were kind of unsure about. They had to go within. They never shared this information with you. This is what they did. They went toward a person. They reunited with someone who they never should have, someone that they should have denied, but they didn't. They were waiting for this person and wishing. They were waiting with this three of cups, three of wands. They were waiting for this person to return back to them. This is an emperor. This emperor 1222 was always serious about waiting for this person to return back to them. So they always remain indecisive when they would be in relationships, even though when you were in their life, they had harmony, they had peace. So they had no real reason to make or to be indecisive when they walked away from the connection with you. They chose to do that. They trusted this past marriage, this past lover, this past husband or wife. They were supposed to learn a lesson from the first initial connection that they had. If they had such a solid relationship, they wouldn't, would not have been divorced or separated from this individual. It was, all, again, always toxic. So they trusted this person. They remarried this person. They came to the aid for this person. This is something that this person was always open for the help. Well, I, well oh, I'm getting tongue-tied. This person is really frustrated about their decision. This is why I'm tongue-tied. They're also receiving judgment because they, again, they never awaken. They should have denied this individual. Okay, this was a wish that they secretly had. So the universe was allowing this person to either be separated from this connection at one point in time so that they could learn their lesson and to trust on the, the universe and the most high and walk toward um, the most high, walk toward peace and harmony and balance with you, period. This person was supposed to at least give it a, ch a chance, this opportunity with you. But they ran right into the arms. If you look, they ran right into the arms of this person. This is why they're fucked up over you. Because they pray for you. This is what this person wanted. You know, they probably talked a lot of dirt about this person that they were um, reunited with, that they once were married to. This is why they're getting judgment. So this person, again, this is a union that was always had, you know, the 1444. This was a connection that was once was a connection. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a person that they had already, you know, had a round or two with this individual. This is not a new person. 
This is somebody that this person has history with. And again, they walked away, they left behind their peace, their happiness, and they came to the aid to help somebody that was unstable. Now they're unstable. They're possibly going through losing their home. They're getting a lot of karma because their judgment is the fact that they were supposed to awaken from this individual and deny this person. If this person were to return back to them, they're they were to trust the universe and trust their intuition and walk away from this person and no longer become an open aid or a vessel for this disturbing deity. So this person wanted and waited. Okay, they waited. They waited for this person years, for three years maybe. I'll say three. Yeah, they waited. They waited for this person and they had eight cups filled. So their heart was almost complete until this person came back into their life. This is what their wish was. So they had eight cups filled of love and emotion and passion for this individual. 1616, as I speak this. So now, because they chose this direction, this is why judgment is called on this person. This is why the Most High and angels or coming down on this individual, they allowed themselves to be what we call endorsement. They allowed this person to trick them into either having a child with this individual or paying child support for this individual. Remember, this person that they came to the rescue for this person has children. This person has children or had a child. The thing is, this person ended up losing a lot of money, unexpected income that they had to dole out for this child. So if you notice on this card, there's a man and a woman here. So this person was rejecting the idea of paying out money to help this family, this homeless, this person that needed money for their child, which would make them a union and as a family. So I feel like this person was kind of galvanized to, to sign papers, possibly um, become the father or even a stepmother, a stepfather, Something like that. They were galvanized and talked into becoming a co-parent, a step-parent to this individual. This is why unexpected income was necessary for them and what they needed in this relationship because this person had a child. So they came to the aid for this person and their child. But the thing is, once they signed on a dotted line, things never changed. So they kept needing money from this individual and it would never stop. It would continue. It, it would never stop. This is what they want. They wanted this to end. And I feel like with the, um, the death card, 